we present a new framework for learning control policies using reinforcement learning, a subset of machine learning. The goal is to autonomously learn a steady-state drifting controller for a remote-controlled car. The car has been outfitted with hard plastic wheels, making it very hard to control on our lab floor. To autonomously learn to control the car, we have developed two models of the system. The new learning framework uses solutions from these two models as prior information for efficiently running reinforcement learning algorithms on the real car. Starting with the simple model of the car, we use optimal control to find an initial policy, which is used to initialize a reinforcement learning algorithm running in a complex simulation of the car. The simulator does not perfectly model the real car, but does increase learning efficiency by providing intelligent prior information. Once learning is complete in the simulation, policy and transition dynamics from the simulator are transferred to the physical car. During each episode, the learning algorithm captures important performance information about the car. This information is then analyzed to improve performance during the following episode. Using the good initialization from the simulators, the reinforcement learning algorithm quickly converges to a steady state drifting controller on the real car. Here, we demonstrate the robustness of the learned closed loop policy. Rock salt is used to change the friction of the floor from the nominal value experienced during the learning process. Despite these new friction forces, the controller maintains the desired circular motion of a steady state drift while driving through the salt. The learned drifting controller is also able to maintain control when perturbed by external forces, as seen here when the car lightly bumps a remote controlled truck. The drifting controller found by reinforcement learning operates in the vehicle velocity space, maintaining constant forward and side velocities without regard for position. However, by integrating a simple position controller around the drifting policy, we can maintain and control position while drifting, even following the truck as it moves around the lab. Position, velocity, and orientation information about the car and truck are measured by an external motion capture system, while wheel speed measurements come from an optical encoder. Outdoors, similar state information could be obtained using GPS receivers and other sensors. This state data is broadcast to a microcontroller on the car, which computes steering commands 10 times per second. The throttle command is kept constant during the maneuver, with only steering changes used for initializing and maintaining the drift.